What's up, Power Life fam? It's your boy Malcolm again. Uh, I'm going to be leading you guys to another bar class today. Um, we have our lovely girls, Bree and Ariel back here. We are uh, practicing with us. Bree is going to show you options to use a chair or something else in your house, maybe a wall that you can do the sequence with. And Ariel will show you how to do it if you don't have uh, any weights or anything. So uh, we're going to get started. Right side body to your bar. Find star pose. Step your feet out wide. And make sure you check the playlist below. Yeah, it'll be in the description. Inhale, star pose. Spread your fingers wide. Your feet are parallel to each other on the mat. Spread your fingers wide and exhale, mini back bend. Cactus your arms here. Here, I want you to set an intention for your practice. Ground down to the four corners of your feet. Push your pelvis forward and spread your fingers wide. Exhale. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. And breathe here. Maybe spread your feet a little bit wider on your mat. Keep the edges of your feet parallel to your mat. Maybe bend forward into your chest. And then bend your knees from right and left. Start to stretch out to the backs of your legs. You can spider tip your fingers here. Yeah, maybe start to lift your toes off the mat a bit. Trust your feet to hold you here on your mat today. Last three. Wide-legged forward fold in two and one. Exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift. Crawl your fingers to lengthen through your back. Exhale wide-legged forward fold. Inhale star pose. Flat back to rise. And exhale back bend. We flow through this. Inhale star pose. Exhale wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, wide fold. Inhale, star pose, jumping jacks. Get warm right here. Spread your fingers wide. Squeeze your inner thighs in and out as you jack on your mat. Heck yeah, guys. Know that you can do this any uh, way that you can in the space that you're in, but I want you to keep your fingers wide and extend your extremities as you step out and step in. Option to step it out one leg at a time here to keep your, building your heart rate high as you move. Heck yeah, guys. Nice and high on your mat. If you want a little bit more here, take star jacks on your mat. Heck yeah, Ariel showing us our step outs here. Bree showing us an up level for our star jacks. Last five. Star pose in four, three, two, and one. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, pivot to grab your weight. Or if you don't want to practice the weight today, guys, keep your hand out in front of you. Step your feet in to a wide first position. Your heels are going to come high to lift up on your releve. We'll plie down, lift your heels at the bottom, extend your legs at the top, and then drop your heels back down. So plie lower, heel lift, extend, back down. Plie, releve, extend, back down. You should feel nice big circles in your legs here as you warm up through the bigger muscles in your legs. Heck yeah, there it is. Guys, I want you to squeeze your glutes at the top as you extend your legs back up. So four count movement here. Plie, releve, extend, back up. Your weight or whatever you have in your hand will stay at heart center here. Inhale, lower, lift, up, back down. Heck yeah, guys, you look so good. Last three. We take it double time in two. And one, twice as fast. Plie, lift, up, down. Lower, heels, up, down. Yeah, as you start to feel warm in your lower part of your body, get your elbow one inch higher above your wrist as you take this faster. Last four. Hold it at the top in three, in two, and one. Heel stay high, bicep curl with a plie. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and curl. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze. So you're still in your wide first position here, guys. It should help you to keep your knees from going too far past your toes here. Lower down just halfway in your plie to feel the benefits of this work here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Now I want you to keep your shoulder blades stacked directly over your hips the entire time to prevent from leading back here. Heck yeah, Ariel's got great balance here. So she's still staying on her releve, but no. If you don't have a bar or wall, you can just keep your heels flat on the earth. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Heck yeah, Bree's gonna show us what we can do to take into an up level. Take your elbows in line with your shoulders. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. You've got it, guys, right here. We pulse it low in four, in three, two, and one. Hold it low, one inch pulse here. So one inch higher in your legs, one inch higher in your bicep. Extend your elbow a little bit further if you have not already right here. Spread your fingers wide on your weight or whatever you're grabbing here, or keep your fingers out nice and wide. Yeah, it's gonna activate your forms a lot more. Oh, how are we doing so far, guys? Oh, yeah, your lower body's going to burn after this workout here, but that's what you need. Last three, back to full range in two and one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bicep curl. Inhale, down. Exhale, bring your inner thighs toward each other here. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Whew. Use your breath to guide you through the work right here. Inhale, to lower. Exhale, zip everything in. Last four. We hold our weight at heart center in three. Last two. And one, weight, heart center. We plie in first. Exhale, passe at the top. Inhale, first position. Exhale, passe. Know that your right foot can stay flat on your mat as you open through your left inner thigh here. Inhale, plie. Exhale, step it up to passe. 
Oh yeah, we work in our transitions today right here, guys. Last three. Hold your passe in two and one. Hold your passe high, upright row. Inhale, lower. Exhale, row it high. Yeah, your palm is gonna face your body here. If you're grabbing onto a chair or your bar, I want you to lighten your grip in your right hand. Can you wiggle your fingers? Maybe keep them over to your hip if you wanna challenge your balance a little bit more. Kiss your shoulder blades together right here, guys, and slide them down your back. Yeah, lift your chin high and smile on your face. Last three. Hold it high in two and one. Hold here, passe extension. So take your knee in and then kick it right back out. Your knee stays just at hip height or a little bit lower if that feels nicer to you. But I want you to focus on extending your leg as straight as you can out to the side. Yeah, toward the top of your mat. Know that the strength you're building here, guys, is not about how straight your leg gets. Sorry, it is about how straight your leg gets, not how high you can get your leg. Your flexibility is not what we're challenging here. It's the strength that you're building here on your mat. Last three. Hold it long in two and one. Hold your extension back to your upright row. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Feel the isometric length that you can build in your left leg here. So point it as far as you can. Keep the turn out of your inner thigh. Heck yeah, guys. You look so good right here. Last five. Yes, you can. Keep a micro bit in your standing leg for four, three, two, and one. Hold everything at the top. Isometric hold, five seconds. Oh, we take it to cardio in three, in two, and one. Weight to heart center. We take high knees at the back. Jack across your mat with your weight or anything in your hands. High knees at the top of your mat. Take it all the way back across. Use the length of your mat here to get your heart rate high. Heck yeah, lateral high knees. Jack it across. Oh, you guys look so good right here. Use any space that you have in your room. If your room is longer than your mat, maybe use the whole length of the space right here. You've got this, guys. I want your heart rate so high, it's gonna push you through the rest of your work today. We've got it. Heck yeah, last six. Woo! Land at your bar in five. First position, parallel in four, three, two, and one. Right side body, first position, parallel. High on your releve, plie lower, narrow row. Inhale lower, exhale, zip it back. Inhale down, exhale, slide your form against your side body. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. Heck yeah, we get into the backside of our upper body right here. Isometric work in your lower body to begin. Know that your heels are high in your first position parallel plie, or if you don't have your wall here, your heels can always come down for a little bit more stability. Find more length through your upper body. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Keep your gaze down and slightly forward to lengthen through your cervical vertebrae right here. You've got it, guys. Last five. We add our plie in four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and row. Inhale, down. Exhale, zip and squeeze. Your inner thighs touch each other the entire time in your parallel position. Yeah, I want you to lower down with your plie and then squeeze your shoulder blades together as you lift up at the top. Can you squeeze your glutes any more at the top of your movement? Press your inner ankles together any stronger. Last six right here. We hold it low in five. Pulse it in in four. Yeah, last three, two, and one. Hold low, tiny pulse. Focus on your upper body here. This is where the, you find the edges of your movements. You find a little bit more growth as you push it one inch further. Heck yeah, guys. Can you squeeze your elbow in towards your side body anymore? Love Bree's option to spread her fingers, widen her weight here to lighten her grip. Focus on the muscles she's building last six. Five, keep your heels high in three, in two, and one. Extend your elbow high, tricep kick back. Inhale forward, exhale, extend. So here from home, guys, I want you to really focus on your tricep kickback form here. Keep your elbow nice and high and just stop your weight just at your pockets here and then send it back. We're gonna hit our biceps one more time on this side. So I really want you to focus on the back of your arms. Heck yeah, you guys look so good right here. How are you feeling at home, guys? Yeah, can you get one inch slower in your work right here? Hinge forward, kick back. We add our releve in three, in two, and one. Inhale, everything forward, drop your heels. Exhale, releve, kick back. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. Heck yeah. Here's where we integrate our lower and upper body together. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. Now check out your form right here, guys. If your knees are past your toes, sit your hip creases back on your mat to keep the alignment of your knees over your ankles. Oh yeah, you're almost done. We pulse it at the top in three. Hold your heels high in two and one. Tricep pulse isometric legs here. So your movement now shifts from your shoulders instead of your elbow joint. Keep a micro bend in your elbow here. 
to keep your tricep engaged the entire time. You're almost there, last five. We release our weight in four, three, two, and one. Hinge, fold forward, weight at the back of your mat, hot feet, shake it out right here, guys. You're not here super long. This is not about getting your cardio high, but more so letting go of all the work your legs are doing. We're gonna stand on your right leg a little bit longer, last four. Glute isolations in three, two, and one. Stand towards your bar, standing half moon. Send your left leg out, lateral degages. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale down, exhale, press. Know that if you want to take this further in your upper body, you can always keep your weight or whatever object you have at your house in your left hand, but I want you to keep it in first position. Bree's got a great example right here. Her elbow still is going to stay higher than her weight to keep her shoulder working. Know that if you want less shoulder work, you don't have to have anything there, but keep your fingers spread wide. Inhale down, exhale, lift and squeeze. We pulse it at the top in three. Heck yeah, last two. And one, pulse at the top, just squeeze. Flex your toes here, guys. You can keep a point if you want, but I really want you to feel the activation to the side of your calves as you feel the lateral part of your glutes start to work. Heck yeah, Errol, look at the balance here. Keeping a micro bend in her standing leg, last five. We take a second set in three, in two, and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, and squeeze. Lateral degages to the left. You've got it, guys. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. If you want a little bit different movement in your arms, take your left arm to fifth position overhead. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze, last five. Hold it at the top in four, three. We take it front to back in two and one. Hold at the top, swing forward and swing back. Forward and back. Yeah, like you're grinding your heel into the ground, but it's gonna stay lifted off your mat. Heck yeah, Brie, that's what I wanna see right here. Again, can you lighten your grip on your chair? Keep a micro band in your standing leg. Oh, you guys look amazing right here. I promise you have a few more series on the side and we cool it out. Last five. Pull your core in to keep your shoulder blades high. Last three. Pulse it to the back in two and one. Heel stays back. Just pulse, pulse, pulse. So you really want to focus on your core integration here, guys, to keep your shoulder blades high. Instead of leaning forward, I want you to keep the alignment of your shoulder blades high. Your chin lifts one inch higher to keep your neck nice and extended. Heck yeah, guys. Last five. Last move right here in four. Hamstring curl in three. Two, and one, hold at the back. Bend your heel towards your glute. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten your leg as straight as you can get it. That's the last 2% of that straighten is where you're gonna get the most of your hamstring work. Your toes stay flexed in toward your shins. Your arms stay out in front of you with or without your weight. Heck yeah, guys, right here. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Get one inch lower in your bent knee. Drive down into your heel so you can stay into this work right here. Last four. Last three, we bend and grab our weight in two and one. Heels back together, forward fold, grab your weight. Inhale, back to first position, parallel, eagle pose. Take your left leg over your right, hold it here, bicep curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. So your arm has been here before, guys. I want you to stay high, maybe on your right heel if you want to keep your calf working here. Without anything to hold on to, you definitely want to keep a nice flat foot here so that you have more stability in your work. So why eagle? I want you guys to feel more inner thigh work right here. So squeeze your inner thighs in toward each other. Heck yeah, keep your elbows pressed in towards your side body. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl. Last three. We pulse it in in two and one. Get low in your legs, tiny pulse. Pulse, maybe shoot your elbow in line with your shoulder. Heck yeah, guys. Fingers stay wide. Even if you're gripping something in your hand, I want you to lighten anything that you can and focus your efforts on your quads and on your biceps. Five more, four more. We stay here for three, two, and one. Second set, tiny little lower, tiny little lift in your bicep. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. I know this feels like torture, guys. I promise you're not here much longer. You can stay in this hard work. Heck yeah, stay low, last three. We shake it out in two and one. Grab your weight, lateral butt kickers right here. Use the length of your mat. Elbows stay nice and wide. Guess what? You're done with the right side after this, guys. So kick your booty as much as you can so I don't have to do so much on the other side. Heck yeah, I want you to drive your work right here. Check back in with your intention, your practice, and what can you bring to your mat for the second side of your body? Last six. We shake it out in five. Left side body in four, three, two, and one. Oh yeah, guys, shake it out. Grab a sip of water. Towel off if you need. Beat me left side body to your bar. Active recovery right here. Take your first position. 
wide, wide first position. And we'll start with our four count movement here. So we start with a plie, releve, extend, drop your heels. Plie, lift your heels, extend, then drop them out. Your weight transfers to your right hand this time and stacks directly at chest height. Heck yeah. How high can you get on your heels this time, guys? I know your body is so, so warm. So maybe you take more depth on this side. So four count to your inhale, lower, please exhale, heels high, extend your leg, exhale, drop them back down. We take a double time in three, in two, and one, double time. Here we go, plie, releve, lift, back down. Big circles in your legs. Let them get even warmer as we activate them on the other side. Can you lift your elbow a little bit higher than your wrist? Last three, hold it at the top in two. Yeah, Ariel, and one, hold it at the top. Plie with the bicep curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. So here I want you to focus on the tuck of your tailbone to keep your lower abs engaged here. That's gonna help the alignment of your shoulders directly over your hips and keep your knees directly over your ankles. Maybe step your feet a little bit wider if you notice they're going too far past your toes. Beautiful um, modification there, Ariel, you got it. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. We pulse it low in three, in two, and one, pulse low, push your edge right here, guys. Get as low as you can and come up just one tiny inch. Can you bring your ribs back in towards your body, your muscles towards your ribs? I want you to feel the activation of your core as it stabilizes you through your work. You feel a little bit lighter in your lower body that's working so hard today. Keep pulsing right here. We take it second set in three, in two, and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale down, exhale, curl. What's gonna drive you through the second side? What's gonna help you find your second win to stay here in your work? Inhale, lower, exhale, press. Yeah, you may be in the comfort of your own home, but here we're gonna force you to take your comfort out of that zone. Find a little bit more growth on your mat. Last four. Hold it high in three, in two, and one. Weight comes to heart center. We plie first position. Exhale, passe to the side. Inhale, lower, exhale, passe. So now your right knee will come toward the top of your mat. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. How much can you open through your inner thigh? Just point your right toes toward your left knee without ever having to touch your leg. Yeah, and at the top, can you keep a micro bend in your standing leg? You guys look so good. Can you work just as hard as these ladies right here? I know that you can, so show us what you're capable of, guys. Last five, hold it at the top in three, in two, and one. Passe upright row, inhale down, exhale, lift and squeeze. Lower. Exhale, press. Know that you can always drop your left heel, but I challenge you to keep it high. The isolation in your calf will keep your calf, your muscles working the entire time. Oh, how are we doing back here, guys? Oh yeah, they're working so hard with smiles on their faces, guys. Can you push the crown of your head toward the ceiling? Last four. Hold it at the top in three, two, and one. Weight stays high, passe extensions. Extend your right leg as straight as you can toward the top of your mat. Bend in and then kick back. Again here, guys, the strength we're building is how straight you can get the front of your leg, not how high your knee goes in relation to your hip. Know that we all have different ranges of motion in our body. Here I want you to focus on the strength you can build in your quad and your hamstrings, your calf and the top of your foot. Last four. Hold it long in three. Back to our upright rows in two. And one, hold your extension, inhale lower, exhale upright row. Inhale down, exhale squeeze. Yeah, 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 drive down to the ball of your foot, any points of contact you have with your foot and your mat here, guys, to help use your glutes to work a little bit harder so you can stay in this work. Inhale down, exhale squeeze. You can always drop your weight or let it go all completely right here. Inhale down, exhale squeeze, last four. Three, two, and one. Hold it at the top, isometric hold. This is where you finish, last four. Three, two, and one. Take it to your cardio here, guys. Four high knees at the back, then jack it across your mat. Use the length of your space here to keep you in the work. All the way, this is where we go, where we finish until we take it to our last two standing series. Oh yeah, get high, get high in your knees. All the way up to your hips. How fast can you go here, guys? Use your weight to pump it nice and high. Heck yeah, Ariel, right there. Oh my goodness, guys, how many reps can you get in? This is your chance to get your heart rate high. Get the most out of your work. Let's see it. Here we go, last five. Land at your bar in four, three, two, 
And one, left side body to your bar. First position parallel, get low, narrow row. Inhale down, exhale, row it back. Inhale lower, exhale, squeeze. Oh yeah, I wanna see a nice long line, 45 degrees from the shoulders all the way down to your hips. Yeah, maybe your forearm comes to land on your chair to have a little bit more stability right here, guys. Again, your heels can always come down to your mat, but if you can, I challenge you to keep them off the ground. Notice how Ariel is pulling her elbow all the way back toward the backside of her body, holding it for two seconds at the top. Inhale lower. Exhale, narrow row, last four right here. Here we go, guys, for three. Add your plie in two and one. Inhale lower, exhale, narrow row. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. Now for you to get the most out of your work in this time right here, can you never fully straighten your quads? All the way down, all the way up. Heck yeah, ladies, stay right here. Anybody at home doing this, can you try to keep your knees bent the entire time? Work your quads all the way, last four. We hold it low in three. Find your pulse in two and one. Hold low, Try a narrow row pulse. Pull it back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You might feel your biceps start to engage here, guys. That's what we want. Feel the back of your body as your shoulder blades kiss together. Those muscles underneath those begin to work a little bit harder here. Get lower in your knees, but keep them back. Send your glutes back behind you. Last four. Hold your heels high in three. Get your elbow high in two and one. Tricep kick back. Inhale, bend forward. Exhale, extend your arm. Inhale, bend. Exhale, tricep kick back. Here, I want you to spread your toes wide. Give yourself a little bit more of a base so you can get even higher in your releve. This is your chance to push yourself as hard as you want to go or step back as much as you need to to stay in your work. Bend forward, kick back. Can you lift your elbow one inch higher above your hips and keep your tailbone slightly tucked under here to use your lower abs to keep you going? Last four. Three, add your releve in two, and one. Inhale forward, drop your heels, exhale, lift, releve, kick back. Inhale down, exhale, lift, and squeeze. Oh my goodness, guys. I know all these tiny muscle movements we're adding on. This is why you chose to take a bar class today. So accept the work that your body can do because it can take you farther than you think. Lower and lift, last four. Give me three, two, and one, heels high, tricep pulse, extend your arm with a micro bend in your elbow. Your weight stays directly above your hip, tiny pulse, just squeeze. Your last little bit right here, guys, we ditch our weight for a little bit in two, heck yeah, and one, forward fold, ditch your weight at the back of your mat. Hot feet right here, shake it out for just a bit, let your legs go, because we'll be on them for a little bit longer. Heck yeah, heck yeah, when you're ready, find left side body at your bar, standing half moon. Extend your right leg long, to the side, lateral dégagés in your right leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. So in this posture, guys, I want you, again, to flex your toes towards your shin so you can feel the work of your hamstring drive your heel down towards your mat energetically. Heck yeah, Bree. She's taking a releve option here to keep her left heel nice and high. But now as we focus on our glutes, guys, you can get, land your heels down into your mat and really focus on squeezing the outside of your right glute. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lateral dégagé. Down. Exhale, squeeze. Heck yeah, drive your heel down right here, guys. You can do this. Focus on the work of your glute. That's where I want all your energy and breath to go. Pulse it at the top in four. In three, two, and one. Hold at the top, tiny little pulse here. Find your highest point and push it just half an inch. You've got it. Notice that your arms can both be out in front of you if you have nothing to hold on to. Maybe you still hold your weight or maybe you let it go all completely. I want you to focus on your lower body. Last four. Second set in three, two, and one. Inhale, thighs together. Exhale, lift your right leg high. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Oh my goodness, guys. You're almost there. Keep working right here. I know this is not an easy class. Shake it out as you didn't come right back into your work. Maybe try your releve in your left heel. We hold it at the top in four. Find your swings in three, in two, and one. Core in, hinge forward and back when your right leg forward and squeeze. So feel the contraction in your hip flexors in the front, the contraction of your glute at the back, working your antagonistic muscles every single time. Take it forward, take it back. Heck yeah, Vri. Can you lift your chin one inch higher here, guys? Roll your shoulder blades back to keep the stack, the alignment of your positioning. The more efficient you can be in your alignment, the more, the easier your work is gonna be here, last four. 
Pulse it back in three. Heck yeah, for two and one. Pulse at the back. Use your core to pull your shoulder blades back here so you're not here, you're here. Pulse it back. Flex your toes. Squeeze your glute. Are we feeling it, guys? Oh, yeah. I want you to feel it here, last four. Heck yeah, for three, two, and one. Hold back. Hamstring curl. Heel in, then kick it back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten your heel out. I want you to feel the energy drive into the mat beneath you. Inhale, bend in. Exhale, kick it back. Oh, man. All of you guys still holding your way to your props here? Kudos to you. And if your props are down, your fingers are so wide. You're still working your shoulders here, last four. Heck yeah, guys. For three, forward fold in two and one. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your weight. Inhale, first position parallel. Eagle pose, right leg over, bicep curl. Inhale down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. This is your second set of bicep. Your last set of biceps on your practice today, guys. Again, your eagle pose is used here to squeeze your inner thigh. So press them in. Maybe pulse them a bit if you want a little bit more here. And if it's in your practice, maybe you wrap your right foot around your left leg. Can you bend your knees a little bit lower here? Get closer to the ground in your glutes. Oh, yeah, I know that you can. I want your right toes to be as flexed as possible. Last four. We pulse in our arms and legs in three. Heck yeah, guys, for two and one. Hold low, tiny little pulse. Your elbow comes up to shoulder height. Try it out, and if you don't like it, pull it right back down to your side body. Oh my goodness, can you smile? Bring the outsides of your lips up towards your ears. Burn out through this last little bit, guys. We take it to our mat after this last work. Last four, three, two, and one. Inhale, plie lower. Exhale, lift. It's gonna be tiny here, not the same range of motion you've had all throughout class. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. And as you take it down and up, can you press your inner thighs together and maybe let them go? Shake it out if you need, guys, and come right back into your eagle pose. This is a burner right here, last six. Yes, you can. Focus on your curl for four. Burn your bicep out, last three. Butt kickers in two and one. Lateral butt kickers on your mat. I want you to add your shoulder press this time to really maximize your heart rate before we take it down to your mat. You're done with your weights after this, guys. Stay strong. Heck yeah, ladies. Let's go, let's go. You at home, what can you bring onto your mat right here? This last little bit of fire, I wanna see you bring it out. Take it forward, take it back. Kick your arm glutes right here because you have the power to do that. Heck yeah, guys. Nothing is stopping you from getting your work today. Last four. Star pose in three. Heck yeah, last two and one. Inhale, star pose, push your weight nice and high. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, drop your weight side of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, star pose, spread your fingers wide, smile here. Exhale, mini back bend, cactus your arms. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank and hold this right here. Heck yeah, you've got core, guys, and this is where you finish in your class. I want you to squeeze your glutes and inner thighs together because you've done that quite a bit in class today. Hinge forward to stack your heels over the balls of your toes and keep your gaze down on your mat. We lower down a tabletop in three, in two, and one, tabletop, roll onto your back and set up for supine figure four. Trust me, we still got some work yet, so don't figure out that we're stretching it out yet. Flex your right toes over your left knee. Inhale your hands back behind your head. Exhale, left elbow to your right knee. Inhale, lower. Exhale, figure four, crunch. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze. Heck yeah, guys. I want you to get a little hip opening here after all the inner thigh work that we've done. Keep your toes flexed here to keep your muscles around your knee engaged, to keep your joints protected. Inhale down, exhale, left elbow, right knee. We focus on one side at a time, crunching your obliques as you lower and as you lift. Whew, can you keep your elbows nice and wide against your mat? Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. Maybe close down your eyes, guys, here, so you can focus on the fire that you're finding on your mat. The last few minutes of class, last four. Stay here for three. Pulse it at the top in two. And one, shoulder blades off your mat, tiny pulse. Yeah, can you track your knee even closer down to the mat? Maybe lift your left toes off the earth right here. Keep pulsing for five. Legs go off the wall in four. Scissor kicks in three. In two and one, both legs long, scissor kick. Inhale, lower right leg. Exhale, lift right leg. Inhale, lower left. Exhale, lift on the left. Continue with your breath right here, guys. We take it to our lower abs. Heck yeah, I love Arrow's option to take her hands beneath her glutes to make sure her lower back stays on the ground the entire time. If your lower back lifts, maybe that means your legs do not go down as far. You've got it, guys. How can you burn your lower abs here? 
Use those inner thighs that you have worked so hard on your mat to lift your leg back high towards the ceiling. Strong point in your toes. Heck yeah, every day stays high and maybe a few ceiling tiles back. Keep your neck nice and strong for five. Your right leg stays long in four. We pulse to the right in three, in two, and one. Right leg high, clasp your hands together, pulse over to the right side of your body. Heck yeah, last little bit right here, guys. We take it to the left, and then you're done with your work. Come on, keep it pulsing. Steeple mudra in your hands, pulse over to the side. Maybe your left leg stays lifted off the earth, or set it down so you can stay working right here. Last four. Scissor kicks in three, full range in two, and one. Both legs high. Inhale, lower your left leg down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, right leg lowers. Exhale, squeeze. I know, taking you back to this, guys, is a little brutal, but I know that you can stay here. Stay on your mat. Stay in your practice and your focus for five. Your left leg stays high in four. Pulse to the left in three, in two, and one. Left leg high, pulse over. Find your steeple mudra here. Tiny little pulse. Show your obliques what you can give them here deep down in your lower abs. Six more. Heck yeah, Ariel. Five more. Point your toes for three, for two, and one. Plant your knees right directly above your ankles. Figure four on the other side. Left toe to your right knee. Hands behind your head. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze. Obliques other side here, guys. This is where you finish in your core, I promise. I want you to stay here in your work. This last little exercise, what can you give to yourself? Inhale, down, exhale, lift, and press. Heck yeah, guys. Keep your gaze to your side to where you want to be for five. Pulse at the top in four, in three, two, and one. Pulse here. Just squeeze. Squeeze. You've got it. Tiny little pulse. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set your feet back down. Oh, my goodness. Set your hands down by your side. Exhale all the air out of your body. And inhale to bridge pose. Lift your hips high. And hold it right here. Start to close your eyes down. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale out of your mouth. In this posture right here, I want you to focus on squeezing your back. Not so much your glutes. I think you've worked them enough here. But lengthen to the core that you've worked so hard all throughout class and right here at the end. Take one deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, drop your hips down to the mat. Ooh, windshield wiper them from right to left. Reset your lower back, your spine. And when you're ready, come back to your supine figure four. Flex your right toes over your left knee. Supine figure four stretch. Yeah, reach into your hip right here. No crunches on this side after all the work that you've done. Feels good in your practice. Maybe grab behind your left thigh and pull it in towards your chest. Keep your toes flexed here, guys. I want you to feel the work to the back of your legs, lengthen through your, your quads and your hamstrings. Maybe slide your hips from left to right, open through them a little bit further. Take a deep inhale in. And exhale, drop both of your legs over to the left side of your body. Supine twist. Ah, breathe into any sensation you have in your side body and your hips right here. Ground both of your shoulder blades down into your mat. Come back to your breath, your focus, your intention here. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, bring your knees back to center. Come over to the other side. Flex your left toes over your right knee this time. Supine figure four, other side. Plant your left heel down or grab behind your right thigh and pull it in towards your chest. Send your breath into any sensation you feel here on your mat. Use your breath to fan your flames that you have created right here. Deep inhale. And exhale over toward the right side, supine twist. Actively plant both of your shoulder blades into the earth beneath you. Send your gaze over the opposite shoulder. Think about all that you've accomplished here on your mat today. Inhale your knees back through center. Bring your forehead to meet your knees. Tense every muscle in your body, your face, your abs, your glutes, your core. And exhale everything long for your final rest, Shavasana. Your palms face the ceiling. 
your shoulder blades pinch together to lift your heart off the mat. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. And bring awareness back to your breath. Movement back to your fingers and your toes. Rotations in your wrists and your ankles. Little shimmies in your arms and your legs. Take a full body stretch, fingers and toes in opposite directions. And on your exhale, supported fetal position. Thanks for being here on your mat today, guys, for finding yourself here. Finding new strengths in your body. On your exhale, find a comfortable seated position. Maybe sit on your shins or on your glutes, cross at your ankles. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale both hands over your heart. Thanks for being here for, with us today. So glad that we can still continue our practice together. Uh, thanks for being here today, guys. Together we say namaste. Namaste. namaste.